It didn't take long before my passion for the gospel and my passion to see lost men and women saved started to rub against or collide with the church. The minister got up and he said, today I want to talk to you about sex. And so I immediately go, "Uh uh-oh could be a problem and and he took a red rose and he smelled it and he showed how pretty it was and then he threw it out into the crowd he goes everybody needs to smell this there's about a thousand of us there almost all of us college and high school smell the rose I want you to smell it I want you to touch it I want you to see the texture in it you do it do it and I'm gonna teach And, and then he began what honestly up until this day was one of the worst most horrific handlings of what sex is and what it isn't that I ever sat through and then as it wraps up, he goes, where's my, where's my rose? Where, where, where is it? Where's, where's my rose? And you know, some kid came up, the rose is just completely jacked up. It's broken, the things are off, the petals are broken. And, and he lifts it up in his big crescendo. I mean, his point is to hold up that rose and go, now who would want this? Who would want this rose? And I remember feeling anger. And it was all I could do not to scream out, Jesus wants the rose. that he made him who knew no sin to be sin on our behalf that we might become the righteousness of God in him, that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. That's the point of the gospel, that Jesus wants the rose.